Hi, it's Kylie. You know, you might be feeling really small today, or you might be feeling really big. Either way, when we're together and we express ourselves through art, it's powerful. So what do you say? Will you join me? You will? Awesome. You know, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it. Come on. It's me, Kylie, and... <laughs> Do you see that huge bug? Get out of here, my friend is here. <sighs> I can't handle it. <sighs> we need to catch it. You wanna catch a bug with me? Let's make a bug catcher in the studio. Come on! All right. Let's make this bug catcher. This is gonna be a little house where the bugs can live while we look at them. We're gonna make it out of something called plastic canvas. It looks like this. The reason we're using this is because it's sort of a mesh, which means it's one solid piece, but it has lots of little holes in it. These are in the shape of squares. This will help our bugs breathe while they're in our bug catcher. The first thing we're gonna do is to cut four equal, that means the same size and shape, rectangles out of our plastic mesh. One, two, three, four. Now, cut a piece of your lacing or string, however you're choosing to do this. I like the plastic lacing because you don't need a needle to thread it. It sticks together really well. You're gonna tie one knot on one end. Then, put two pieces of your plastic mesh together and string it through the first hole. Boop. Now they'll hang together on your string. Perfect. Then, you're just gonna go hole by hole and lace them together, like this. First hole, perfect. Pull your lacing through and leave it so it loops around the side like that. Then, just keep going until your whole side is strung together. The next thing I'm gonna do is take another piece of this plastic canvas and attach it the same way right here for a ceiling. We're almost done. We have three out of four sides on. That means we only have one left. So we're going to attach our last piece the same way on this side and then on this side. I'm so excited. There we go. All four of our walls are sewn together. Now we need to add a front and a back. We're gonna sew them on the same way with the lacing, just right on to each side. For the front though, we're gonna want to cut in a little door so that we can put our bugs in there really easily. Get ready. We're coming to find you. <laughs> Let's go. Got our bug catcher. Got my net. I lost the trail of our studio bug, but I bet we can find some other amazing bugs out here, don't you think? Let's go bug hunting. 
This big tree fell down in a storm that we had. I wonder if there's any bugs hanging around these branches. Bugs. You see anything? <gasps> I see something. He's in the net, he's in the net. Okay, time to put him in here. I think you're really gonna like the house we made for you. You see him in there? Let's go find some more. <laughs> Do you have a favorite kind of bug? A ladybug? A buzz bee? Oh, how about a little ant? a grasshopper. Oh, you know what other kind of bug I love? Caterpillars. How about you? I think mine would be a butterfly or a lightning bug. I love those when they light up at night. My favorite. I really want to see a butterfly. Butterflies really like flowers. Maybe we should go somewhere where there's flowers, right? Oh! Okay, you're nice and safe, don't worry. There you go. Look at this bee. It's getting pollen and it's going from one flower to the next. That helps the bee have food to eat, but it also helps the flowers. It pollinates them, which helps other flowers grow. Isn't that amazing? Look at that spider. He can't wait to get inside. Let me in, let me in. <laughs> you can come in, spider. Here you go. <laughs> We've seen a lot of bugs that like the sunshine and flowers and grass. Now we're gonna look for some bugs that like the cool darkness of underneath things. Let's flip over this stump and see if we can find any. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Amazing. Who knew there were so many bugs living in this one little under the stump world? Here's a grub. We found so many amazing bugs under there. I better put the stump back so that they stay nice and safe. Bye. Thanks for showing us you. Still really want to catch a butterfly. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh! Look at him. Welcome to the family. Ouch. Whoa, We're okay. what an amazing world of bugs we've discovered. I'm gonna keep these guys just outside for a little while. And once I'm done looking at them, I'll let them go again. I'm really bummed that we didn't see a butterfly today, but what if before you go, we make a butterfly together? Do you want to? Okay, we'll do a quick butterfly craft. Here's how you get it ready to start. To make the base for your symmetrical butterfly or bug, you're gonna need a big piece of construction paper, a smaller piece of printer paper, a glue stick, and a scissors. Start by folding your white paper in half. Cut out one side of your bug shape. Now, when you open that up, it will be the full canvas for your bug. But, until we're ready to paint, we're just gonna glue one side down to our construction paper. This will make a great canvas for when we're ready to do our painting. Boop, boop, 
Once your canvas is ready, it's time to paint. We're just gonna paint the one side that's glued down. Then we'll squish it together, pull it apart for the final reveal. Here we go. Squish, 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 squish. And now it's time to see our butterfly. <gasps> I love it. I finally caught one. I had so much fun making this bug catcher with you and finding bugs and painting this butterfly. I mean, finding this butterfly. <laughs> See you next time. Want to make more things together? Me too. K-Y-L-E-E. -E. That's me. Search Kylie Makes It for lots of fun art videos. Also, parents and educators, go to kyliemakesit.com. I have lots of things for you too. Like this video and subscribe.